Money Market, a short film. This is the money market graph. On the y-axis, we have the nominal interest rate. On the x-axis, we have the quantity of money. This vertical line is the money supply. Then the downward sloping line is the money demand. Go. Act two, the breakdown. The money supply curve is vertical because it is a set amount that is regulated by the Federal Reserve. Jenny Yellen! <laughs> Everyone demands money. When money, the quantity of money goes up, nominal interest rates go down. That's why the money demand curve is sloped downwards. <laughs> Getting down and dirty, act three. As I said before, the nominal interest rate and the quantity of money are inversely related. If someone has more money, the quantity of money increases. Thanks. So, since I have more money, I'm gonna demand less loans. So, the nominal interest rate has to go down. Buy my loans. I have my own money. <laughs> All right, there are three major shifters of the money supply curve that we're going to talk about. The first one is the reserve requirement. The reserve requirement is the amount of money that they have to take out of the demand deposits and keep as reserves. In this case, it's 10%, meaning that out of the 10,000, we save 1,000 and are allowed to loan out 9,000. The way this shifts the money supply curve is through the money multiplier. One over the reserve requirement is equal to the money multiplier and the higher the reserve requirement, the less that the money is multiplied and able to be loaned out to different people. Hey, my friend's going to Rensselaer. The next shifter is open market operations. The main way they do this is by the buying and selling of bonds. Bonds are basically money. What the Fed will do is, if they want to decrease the money supply, they'll sell me this bond. And I'll, you know, give them five funny money dollars for it. So there you go, and I have bond now. So the money supply is decreased by five funny money dollars. So if the Fed wants to increase the money supply, they go out and buy all the bonds up. So, you know, they're buying this bond, but now they're going to buy it for ten funny money dollars. So now, now the money supply has gone way through the roof. And that's how they shift it using open market operations. The discount rate is the interest rate that the Fed charges the member banks in its group. So if you look at the bank, it's saying, hey, can I borrow some money, Dad? But then the Fed says, sure, but the interest rate is going to be equal to the discount rate. So then the higher the, in the discount rate, the less money supply there will be since they're spending it and giving it to the Fed. On today's episode of Money Minute Madness with Janet Yellen. Hi, I'm Janet Yellen, and this is today's episode of Money Minute Madness with me, Janet Yellen. We're going to talk about interest rate today. Remember kids, I control the interest rate of that car you want to buy, so you better bake me some cookies. Hey ACDC econ students, this is Nick Clifford, and welcome to Drawing the Money Market Graph. We have nominal interest rate, quantity money, money supply, and money demand. <laughs>